So many of you uh, who watch this channel realize that we don't review a lot of like RC gear, even though I'd like to, because uh, I find them quite enjoyable. And now that we live somewhere with way more uh, property and land, uh, we can do way more testing. So for any of you drone or RC car truck manufacturers that want to uh, send us some gear to review, we would be more than happy to kind of expand into that, you know? And if you're watching, leave comments down below if you think that's something that we should get into because um, we're looking at one today. Oh yes, and this is, I don't even know really. Uh, this was sent to us from our friends over at Banggood. Uh, this is the HS18323. 1 18th scale, 2.4 gigahertz, four wheel drive, 36 kilometers per hour, <sighs> RC car model, proportional control, Bigfoot off-road truck RTR vehicle. This is the box right here, this is it. Now, uh, coming in right now about 75 bucks US, so not a horrible price, but what we're gonna do is take a look at what comes in the box. Uh, we'll take a quick look at Banggood Banggood site just to see what it shows here, and then we're going to uh, take it outside and give it a rip. All right, coming up. Okay, guys. So here we go. We're scrolling down here, what do we see? It looks good. I like that purple color. Right, four wheel drive. 118th scale. Now we've done uh, two RC vehicles before this and they were both much larger than this. The box too, you guys can see the box. Uh, this is a reasonable size. Uh, 118th, uh, a little smaller, which is which is fine, but it's fairly quick doing almost, it says almost 40 kilometers per hour. So you guys, you guys can take a look at it, but it's getting great reviews. 4.96 stars out of five. Now only 24 reviews, but still it's getting getting high which is great. I don't, it says RTR. I don't really know what RTR means. Anybody tell me, what does that mean? I don't know if it's something, but here's here's the box right here. Uh, Storm Monster Truck Thunder. Oh yes. Uh, and I guess that's something like maybe high speed, 118th scale four wheel drive monster truck. And that, that, looks, that looks less, less purpley right less purpley more white and red so i don't maybe i don't even know what color i got but oh no there it is right there's different versions right there of the of the different models this is the one we had the 18323 right there but it looks like it comes in a different one uh so uh batteries not included so good thing we have some batteries available uh and the battery for of course inside the truck is, is there okay but you're gonna need you're gonna need some of your own batteries for the remote control. So don't don't be like I'm all excited because I, I got this new RC car. Like happens with when you buy all, all kinds of stuff and you get home and you realize oh all the components aren't there. Oh that's a cute size. You guys maybe you can see it in the box, right? That's cute. They're definitely smaller than my other ones for sure. Does that come out easy? Sort of easy. Okay, here it comes. I think it's coming. I like the, it's little. Oh, that should be fun. Okay, first off, there you go. You guys can see that. Hurricane. There's supposed to be a hurricane that came through here just the other day, but, and you know, leading up to it, because in the Eastern US, they got just doused with it. Uh, here, we got nothing. We got. Uh, it started off with like be prepared be prepared and then as it was supposed to arrive we got like so it's gonna be really warm and uh, muggy and That's it. So be prepared for sunshine. I guess uh, he, Manual there it is Large fonts, which is excellent Perfect for those of us that may need help with reading all this kind of stuff but the full thing looks like uh, English very nice uh, and this is this is your remote same same idea like it's a it looks like it's a smaller remote Let's move this out of the way a little bit right a little smaller remote. Oh, no, not too bad And I'm guessing I'm guessing the battery the battery 
for the car uh, is actually in the car. And is that like a USB-C? It's like a USB charger. So I'm guessing, right? There's your USB-A to the charger and that would be for the battery inside there. Okay. And this, it's, it's super light, very light and plasticky. So don't expect like crazy good quality. Uh, but the steering wheel seems decent, right? And then you got your little button here and your trim for your steering. This is just gonna be your on and off up here. Your reverse and forward triggers. And you do have, uh, it looks like a screw to be able to get your battery out of here. So I gotta make sure I go find a little screwdriver. Right there, you guys will see it. Right, a little screw right there. Make sure you have that handy. And does this just come out or is it tied in? Oh, it's, it's tied in a little bit. Okay, that's fine. This is where a sharp knife would be handy. All right, let's move the remote over there and the little charger cable thing. I like that little charger though, that's nice. Same idea, you guys will be able to see it here. Same kind of little screw to be able to open this up or else this is, is all sealed. Uh, suspension looks decent, good. Looks like decent travel. It's not a huge amount of travel. You guys will be able to see it probably from the front there, right? It's decent. Not huge, but decent. We have uh, some fairly large, uh, large, the grass outside needs to be mowed. So it's a little on the uh, long side. So I'm wondering how well this will do in the long grass, but I guess we'll find out. Other than that, right, it's got, you guys will see it there, right? It's we've got decent travel for sure. It's not, not bad at all. You can take these out. This is your body pins. I guess there's four here. We'll just lay these off to the side. So you guys will be able to see, if you want, what's on the inside of this. And there you go. So I'll bring it up a little closer. And again, I'm not a big RC guy, so looks like everything is covered and sealed which is really nice uh, so that it's going to help protect it from the elements if it's going to get any kind of moisture or uh, if it gets caught out in the rain or anything like that there's your servos looks good i'm just like yeah looks looks fantastic right uh the really th only thing i care about too much is uh how it drives but there's your there's your on off switch over here just behind the uh left front tire but yeah, it's all in there good. Like it, it seems it seems very well built, right? Again, there's that push on here. So you guys can see it without the body on top. And then we just put that back on and put it back on. Yep, put it back on the right way. It's important. And uh, you and I are gonna go outside. Yep. Well, I'm going outside. You, you're probably just gonna sit wherever you're sitting and continue watching this is the hope. All right. Let's go outside and play with the RC car, shall we? Yeah. All right, so as you can see, we have the uh, little RC out here. We're doing a point of view camera. And um, we have the Insta361R on there. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. We got our controller all hooked up, all right? Let's see how it is in the grass, because it's, it's tall, right? All right, here we go. Let's see if it can go through here, ready? So the tires are going, but grass is just too tall for this little guy here. Momentum got it. Let's see if it can kick out. Ready? No, just kind of sinks. He's just too little. Too little. All right, let's uh, get it back here. Now our neighbors have, have mowed their lawn. Let's just see, ready? Maybe I need some momentum just to get it up over here. There she goes. There it is. So if you have a mowed lawn, you're good. Right? And she's she's definitely got some pep to her. Ready? Oh no. <laughs> and this is this is the risky run running cameras. Okay, let's uh, 
smooth right there. Okay, ready? Up a hill even. She's quick. Ready? <laughs> she, she's very, very fast. All right, let's take it back here and get it in the rocks. All right. We may even bring my phone up. Hold on. Ready? So I got some nice gravel up here. I'll handle the gravel. No worries at all. Okay, let's just lift it up here. And you can see big gravel. And oh, uh, she's she's entertaining without question. She's got enough. You guys can see, right? Ready? Oh no, popped off my camera. So I wasn't sure how long that sticky would stay on there. The rocks, the rocks are what did it for it. All right, let's uh, let's go do some just some slow mo B roll shots, shall we? All right. Okay, so in shorter grass, ready? We'll get it coming back over here. Here we go. My backyard's not as bad as the front yard. Ready? Here we go. Full speed. So it's doing all right. It's doing it. Plowing through there. Ready? And I think I'm out of juice. I think I'm out of juice. All right, let's go back in the house and uh, see what we got, shall we? Okay, so that was that was that was super fun, super fun. Uh, so just so you guys know, because uh, we we did some outdoor stuff, but before we actually went outside, we just played around with it in the house. And uh, here's 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 some quick footage of me ripping around in, in the house with it.
And you can really see, like if you have it on like flat, <laughs> flat ground, not a lot of obstacles or rocks or things like that, uh, it can move pretty good, right? Now realize it's a 118th scale, so it's not very heavy. And because of that, she really has a tendency to slide around, but that can be a, a big chunk of the fun, right? To be able to get, you know, that, that rear end and everything sliding around, which is pretty good. Uh, in regards to outdoors, playing with it in the rocks, it was really good. It was, the, the shocks did way better than I thought they would be or they would do, uh, especially when you see it with the slow motion. You can really see how much movement the, the suspension and the tires are, are doing. Um, so I thought it did really good, especially for a $75 uh, 1 18th scale remote control car, right? Now, just so you guys know, uh, the Insta361R that I had stuck, I had it actually stuck here on it, uh, you guys can see. Uh, it did pretty good uh, until it hit a good rock and, and the rock is what kind of flipped it flipped it off. But it could also be that it, I flipped the RC a couple times before that and it just, it's sticky, just couldn't do it. Now, if I could have gotten it up here or there were some flatter spots, everything kind of has a bit of texture on it, like little bumps, some rigidity, right, ridges on it. So you couldn't really get as, get as good a stick. But just so you're aware, if you're like, I'm gonna stick my GoPro on that on it. Now you could put a Velcro band possibly around it, or hold around the whole thing, cause it's really not that big. I'm sure you can get some Velcro, a Velcro strap and stick a GoPro to the top of this. That, that should probably work. Maybe that's what I would do next time. Um, yeah, but inside on a, like a hardwood floor or probably even carpet, carpet should get even better traction for sure. Uh, it moves, it really does, it moves. So I was pretty impressed with that. Uh, Real fun, a lot of fun to just kind of slide it around all over the place. And outdoors, she did surprisingly well on rocks, on concrete, of course, uh, slab, um, short grass uh, did good. Uh, not so good in long grass, but that's to be aware. She, you know, if she could have got traction, I think she would have went, the tires were spinning. She just didn't have the weight. The grass was just getting it up because she didn't have the weight to push it down onto the, the ground where she could get traction. But yeah, it's a it's a great little RC and I did flip it a couple times, but everything's like even this, like everything's pretty easy, like it's really built to take a beating. Like if you look at this piece here, right? Like it's, it's all bendy, right? So it's really kind of good. Um, yeah, I took it off, took it off some jumps, right? Why wouldn't you? And uh, I think for the price, if you're looking at an RC, not, not a bad option at all, $75. Uh, and I got about, and I'm guessing, I got about 20-ish minutes would be my guess. 20-ish minutes of running it pretty hard. Uh, I would say running it through the grass and things like that are gonna take the biggest hit on the battery because it's really just pushing it harder than it, it usually would. There you go guys, hope you hope you enjoyed the video. We will put links below to this little fella if you're interested uh, on Banggood's website. That's where it came from for us. Oh yes, and uh, that's it. Back to some other normal normalcy tech reviews tomorrow. And uh, that, that's all. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell down there and we will see you fine folks in uh, tomorrow's video. Later my friends.